Hey guys, Chad Katz here. Just want to take this time to show you two things that I think is important for you to know when it comes to finding new areas to fish. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, and now that I have the software to actually record my monitor screen, as you can see, I can now show you uh, what I'm talking about. So when I find new bodies of water, there's two programs I use. One is Google Earth, and the other one is Navionics, which I'm going to show you Google Earth first so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Uh, most of you guys, if not all of you, should already know what Google Earth is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Google Earth has been around for a while now, guys. Um, it's a satellite imagery program where you can look at maps, terrain, uh, terrain. 3D buildings, any place you really want to go in the world, you can pretty much get a spatial view of. So if you're wanting to find new fishing areas or places to fish, let's say you want to go to, uh, I'm going to keep it local for me since uh, this will be a little easier for me to do. Let's do Chickamauga Dam. And Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is where I am. You click search, and then it's going to zoom in onto that specific place that you looked up. And then you see Chickamauga Dam. And you can use your mouse uh, to kind of visit it, see what's around it, and so forth. Uh, you can even zoom in if you want. So I can take this little guy right here and place him down near the dam and you get a good view of what the dam looks like. So if you guys are trying to fish in a new spot, Google Earth is probably the best place for you to go so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, it's also good for you to kind of see where you want to park, uh, if there's any parking access to you, and in this case there is, right around here. And you can, you know, zoom forward, which is good. So you can get as close as you want uh, to the dam, and you can already see people right here on that blue railing there. Uh, so I think Google Earth is a good first starting point for you if you're wanting to find new spots. Uh, so I don't know, you can even type in Schuylkill River, S-C-H-U-Y-L-K-I-L-L-F. -L 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 Let's do Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Since I go there usually in the summertime, uh, let's see what this has here. And it's taking me to the Schuylkill River. So you kind of get an idea, guys, of what that looks like. And so if you're wanting to find uh, uh, new spots to bank fish, or if you fish from a boat looking for ramps, this is something you probably want to get used to learning. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing, which I think is really beneficial for you, let me close this out, is something called Navionics. And I'm going to type in uh, Navionics web app. It's a free app for you to uh, uh, look at. Let me see here. I'm at the, let's go to the web app. There we go. So if you go to webapp.navionics.com, I'll be sure to leave a I'll be sure to leave a link for you at the bottom of this video so you can get access to it. Um, but it's a free program for you to see from a personal computer, and all this is is a map that shows you elevation, contour lines, depth, elevation in the water, and so forth. So as I zoom in, let me see if I can zoom in here, it shows me all the contour lines of Chickamauga Lake, Tennessee River. So if I'm wanting to find new spots, so let's say I'm trying to fish a new area tomorrow, or try to find a new area to fish, I may go here and figure out, okay, I see some activity here with this creek mouth, and you can kind of see the... Uh, how deep it is, like right here it says 30 feet, uh, and, and it's really good guys to 
see what the geography is like over a certain body of water. Uh, I'm going to put this thing on satellite so you can kind of see what it's like from a satellite view. Um, and this is what Google Earth already has is this satellite. But Navionics, I think, is is uh, better since it helps you see what the river looks like from this point of view. So you don't have to have a fish finder or a depth finder to understand where you're fishing. Uh, you can do it at home for free. So this is my home body of water right here. So there's a good hole right here. Uh, you can kind of see that there's a lot of activity going on with this certain area. So you kind of see that it's 10 feet here, 9 feet, 13 feet. Then it gets automatically down to 27 feet. So this is a good little area maybe where some big catfish like to hang out. Uh, maybe some bass kind of hanging around the top of this hole. Uh, so this is a really good tool for you to use. Uh, I, was, I, only, I only found this uh, app about a year ago. So And I was really fortunate to have a friend tell me about it. And you can also, you can get this app on your smartphone or your tablet. I think it costs $10, though, for you to get it on your phone, but it's free to use on your computer. Uh, so, and guys, you can go anywhere you want. Now, right now, it's using my location uh, from, where, from where I live. So, but you can obviously go anywhere you want. So, I'm going to zoom out of this. And uh, let's see here. Let's say you want to go all the way. I don't know. I'm just going to put down, I think over here is Car. This is Car Lake or Car uh, Reservoir here. And it looks like they got, uh, looks like they got their map updated as well. I will say one of the cons with the Navionics web app is that not every river is updated. And that's unfortunate to say, but like the Schuylkill River in Philadelphia, I don't think their, their river has any sort of um, maps available on the Navionics website. Uh, let me see if I can find that. There's Philadelphia. Let me see if I can zoom in. I think this is the Schuylkill River. No, that's a Delaware River. Excuse me. See, you kind of look at the Delaware River. It gives you the, the depth, like 41, 37 feet, I guess, in certain areas. But it doesn't really give you any contour lines that much. So I would definitely say with the Navionics web app that a lot of your major rivers have uh, their map updated on this website. So give it a try, guys. And here's the Schuylkill River right here. This says Schuylkill. Uh, so this says 11 feet. Uh, looks like they put the years down on when they updated this thing. Uh, so... Anyway, and it's just good for you to mess around with, guys. I think if you're going to be fishing new spots, this is something to really try and figure out. Uh, I'm no expert at this as far as reading the maps, but if I'm going to be fishing a new area, this is the first place I would start, is trying to find out, okay, how deep is it? Uh, is there any sort of activity going on? Like... Right here is a like right here, uh, the Delaware River looks like it kind of splits into two factions. There uh, looks like you got a little creek that runs in here. Um, anyway, you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. So my big thing is, guys, is that you don't have to have a fish finder or a depth finder to know to read a river. The big thing is you have things online that you can see for free that gives you an idea. Uh, having a fish finder or a depth finder is just a bonus for you to have if you're able to afford it. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about the Navionics web app or Google Earth, please uh, leave a comment below. And uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Tight lines.